joining us. So uh, just describe your opposition to the changing of the street names in, in Pretoria. Well, we believe that uh, we should foster mutual recognition and respect uh, in our country amongst communities. And in that sense, we believe that there is room for street name changes. But when we go about that, we should make sure that we identify those streets that are not of a specific cultural historic value, and those streets um, should then be used. But the unfortunate thing that we saw is that uh, streets of persons that played a pioneer's role in setting up the city, people that are, have played an important role uh, in the Afrikaner community have been targeted. And we say that uh, there could have been other streets that could have been changed, and that is why we, we oppose it. Uh, we believe this would cause division, and it's actually ludicrous from the council to say that it is creating unity in the process, because it is definitely not. Yeah. Um, so. In terms of where things are now, the court's decision, are you going to appeal against the decision and, and try and, and get a different kind of decision going forward? No, well, the court, uh, just to put things into perspective, did not say that the street name changes are fine. Mm -hmm. What the court said is we got undertakings from the Metro Council that they would cooperate to make sure that the main court case would be heard within six months. And in that six months, both street names would be shown. In, and in that sense, the court said there's no need for an urgent interdict, but we are going full steam ahead with the court case and that we are confident that we, that we have a strong case for instance, the Metro Council's own policy says that a street should only have one name. And if you now look what happened, for instance, with Church Street, it, mm -hmm. they got four names. So it's not only confusing, it's against uh, the Council's own policy. So it's got we, four names? Yes, it was divided into four pieces. Mm -hmm. And I think if you look at the church like a uh, street like Church Street, it has a tradition of, as the longest street in the country. Um, in terms of a religion sense, um, most people in the country are Christians. And we believe if you want to accommodate all, you could rather have said Kerkstra Church Street, Kareke Street, would be some way to accommodate all. And what we are asking for is in this process, mm -hmm. uh, we must look at what the aspirations of the various communities in this country are mm -hmm. and find a win-win solution, and that is possible. You don't but think the municipality's view represents uh, the views of the people that support the municipality necessarily. No, and, well, and uh, of course, vision. people voted for the municipality um, to come into power. But I think in terms of an uh, ideological sense, I think in many cases, municipalities are out of touch with their own supporters. And I think in this case, um, the, I have not come across any person except politicians that has a problem, for instance, with the name Church Street. Yeah. So they've changed the name State Church Street. I, I think I saw part of it being called Stanza Bupapi Street. Was that, was that correct? Yes, yeah. that is one of the names. There are three other names as well. Yeah. Um, but at this stage, as we stand, um, both names are on the, on the street poles, and uh, we will have a court case within the next six months, yeah. and we are looking forward to that. Yeah. What about the vision of the ones who want a different kind of representation? for Church Street and for the, the municipality itself? Well, I think if you go f um, for solutions like the Church, Kerkereke, it would accommodate all. And then, if, for instance, we had a look at some of the street names, such as Boom Street, that does, which is a prominent street in Pretoria, but mm -hmm. that, that does not have a very strong cultural historic uh, value. So those streets are the ones that should be targeted. But I think the problem and the divisions are caused by the fact that it seems as if the Metro Council, if they are identifying those streets, which are now are very important amongst Afrikaner people. And is those Church are Street an important street among Afrikaner people necessarily? Yes, but not only Afrikaner people. I mm. think if you look at uh, all our communities, um, most people in our country are religious. And uh, that, that is, for, is an instance of a street that accommodates all. And to go and change that is, for us is ludicrous. Yeah, but for the municipality, the vision may be different. It may represent a particular kind of thinking and feeling, perhaps people who fail represented by Stanza Bupapi, would that necessarily be divisive? Well, it is the vices, they've, the way they've gone about it. We've had, uh, we've had discussions with the mayor, and there was a promise that there would be further discussions, which would bring in all 
parties to make sure that we find a win-win solution. Mm -hmm. uh, but that promise was broken. Uh, there was a unilateral decision to change the street names. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have no choice but to oppose this. Yeah. Just looking at, uh, I mean, the, the way you would want to deal with it is names that you would be comfortable changing should be the ones that are changed. And those no. kinds of names should <clears throat> represent a particular sense with which you are comfortable. In no, a sense. what we are saying is uh, we put our views forward mm -hmm. and other communities can put their view forward. There should be discussions with regard to that and then see if we can if we can find uh, solutions. For instance, if you look at Duncan Street, it was now called after Jan Schorba, mm -hmm. which was a person that uh, that was known for for carrying out farm attacks, mm -hmm. which that would also be hurtful. So I think those kind of things could have been discussed. And then, of course, the, the other communities can, can bring up names that they see as hurtful. But the fact is, we'll never in this country have everybody like all the names. Mm. So we must say, in the spirit of mutual recognition and respect, um, there might be some names which I don't like. Mm -hmm. um, there might be some names other communities won't like, but we should find a common mix that uh, that would accommodate all to say, well, at least we've been accommodated on a number okay. of streets. All right, Kali, thank you very much. Kali Creel is with Afri Forum joining us this morning and uh, just showing you what some of the people are thinking about as we conclude our conversation. Uh, this one comes from Tammy uh, Bouchette, who says, should these name changes really take priority over service delivery that currently grips our country? Another one from Jacques Cupido, name changes should be uh, speed up as many names still part of, I think, reminiscent of colonial oppression and apartheid. I think that's what the word meant there. Gustav, name changes should be a nation building exercise. We know our past. Let's now focus on our future. And the last one from Christopher, names are being changed using money while poor citizens have to buy water or dig up wells to drink. Please better our lives. Thank you very much for writing in to us at Morning Live 